Okay, so now that the video has started, now we should probably rank Mario Kart items. Shall we? So, the tiering is just S, A, B, C, D. D being the worst, S being the best. And we're going to start with the Super Mario Kart items. There's not much of them. We're going to start with the banana. Banana. Yep. Alright, so, like, you want to go first? Um, I would put this in C tier. Yeah, uh, yeah the C tier would sound best. Yeah, I think the C... It's not, like, the best item, but I'm not going to complain if I get it. Yeah, it's, like, a good defensive item, but other than that, it's just... That's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to try and move uh, my phone to here. I think here is best. Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, now we got the green shell. I would say C tier for this item as well. Yeah. That, that, that would be a good test for it. So. But where would we put it? Would we put it above banana or below banana? Above banana, okay, because you have the potential to hit somebody with it. Unlike banana, you just kind of have to, like, take a guess and, like, do some, like, what, math-related stuff to just, like, possibly snipe them. Yeah. Wait, so did you say above or below? Because I'm fine above, with either. Because, yeah, green shell is, like, above banana because you're, like, able to, like, hit somebody more um, with it easier. Yeah. And also, you have, like, the possibility of, like, getting rid of their defense item. Oh yeah, definitely. Banana, you can't really do that unless if you go in front of the person or you just throw the banana and they just so happen to run into it. Banana sucks. Yeah, but I'm not going to complain if I get it because it is a pro pretty solid defensive yeah. tool. Uh, where would we put the red shell? This is an item. The red shell. Solid defense oh. item. You can use it as a defensive item. You can shoot it, you can shoot it backwards, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, you can obviously shoot it forward. That snipes opponents. Pretty solid item. Um, Pretty hard to outrun. Yeah. yeah, that thing comes at you like like <laughs> like the cloudy of the chance ball. I mean, like that police just chasing the flint. Yeah. Like that's how I imagine myself every time I'm like getting like hit by oh like getting chased by a red shell. Yeah. Uh, where would we put this red shell? I'm thinking either high A or low S. Um, I think high A. I wouldn't really put it up to S. Because there's definitely better uh, items that I definitely could. could. Yeah, there's definitely better items that could get you out of tighter spots. So yeah, definitely yeah. red shell is good. Also, um, for the record on the video, this includes Mario Kart Tour and Mario Kart Arcade items. So we're going to have to do a lot of digging for item oh, for information. Yeah. We're going to have a lot. Of... So I think it's like staying in the living room, like search up Mario Kart tour items and lost, uh, lost items. <laughs> yeah. I might not have a computer, but I have a TV. What's even worse is that when I was looking for the images, I couldn't find images or information about some of these items. So like, uh, the triple boo? So, I don't think I could have found like, information obscure. for it. So they're either obscure or if not just like in a way kind of like lost media. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Uh we have the feather. Now the feather. Isn't, isn't that feather supposed to like eat you up like in the air? Um, it gives you like in I think it's only available in Super Mario Kart on normal races, but basically it allows you to jump higher. It allows you to skip, uh, park the track in Super Mario Kart. It's also Mario Kart 8 Battle Mode, or Deluxe. It, 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 it's just Deluxe Battle Mode, right? Yeah, it's Deluxe Battle Mode. Yeah. Which... So, you can, like, avoid red shells from that, or, like, something like that. Yeah. I'm down to put this... It, like, see, here's the thing, right? It's very situational. Obviously, all Mario yeah. Kart items are situational, but... Uh, the feather specifically like, is very. Like you can do with it is like do shortcuts. With uh, in, in Super Mario Kart, yeah. So, which either could be like a drastic change to a course, or 
Not at all. Because I think it's also a one-time use as well. It's a one-time use, and then, like, it, it, it kapoof, it's done. Yeah. So, I think... Yeah, there's, like, three, three ways of them. Like, the one, like, you kind of mess it up, and you're kind of, like, put yourself at a worse situation. Two is, like, yeah, all right, like, kind of benefited me. And then three, it's, like, they benefited you a lot, and you're kind of, like, ahead of the game. Yeah. And also in Super Mario Kart, if you make it to first place through the shortcut, and you get lucky with the super cape, or not super cape, the feather, uh, there's yeah. no blue shells. So, that's a plus. And I don't think red shells were really good in this game. I think they were god-awful. I don't think they sniped in Super Mario Kart. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think they did. I think they were just pretty much clones of red sh or green shells. Huh. So where would we put the feather? Because it's very situational. Maybe I would say, um, like maybe B tier. Yeah, B tier, high C tier, very low B tier. It it really depends on what court or what track you're playing. For like for the banana, oh, right? Wait. The banana definitely. Yeah. The banana, like if I'm. On any track, the banana is useful. Same with the green shell, same with the red shell. But the cape feather, like, there really is no uh, benefiting part of the uh, thing. So, I would maybe put it in a high, or maybe even below banana. It's very situational, though. Yeah. What are the chances of, of getting uh, the feather? I think you have to be at like an early place. I think it's just either an early place or maybe a very late place. Mm. All right, then. Yeah, so I, do we keep it in B tier or do we change it to C tier? Uh, I think C tier. High C tier? Um. Yeah, I guess I should do. It. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we have the dash mushroom. Or wait, no, that's the uh, what the term is in uh, Mario Party. The uh, did the dash mushroom. That's pretty much uh, pretty solid item. You know, you get one free dash or a free boost. When you see yes. When you see a super mushroom, you're never gonna complain. When you get it from like a boo, I'm never gonna complain about a mushroom. Yeah. Yeah. So where would we put this? Maybe B tier. I would. Um. It's not better than the red shell. Could... <clears throat> so I, I don't. If we're putting it in A tier, I wouldn't put it above the red shell. And if, and no, no, Red Shell's a high A tier, so I think maybe either very low A tier or very top B, or middle B, even. I would say, like, maybe, like, very low A tier. Yeah, I would agree. It's a really good item. It may be situational. It may be situational, but it's not as situational as items with the Red Shell. Yeah. And now we have the Superstar. Oh, that's on a map catch. Oh yeah, certainly. <laughs> One of the best Mario Kart items by far. Invincibility for a small duration of time. No, Speed. no argument from that. Yeah, no argument. Now we have the blue item. The blue item, um... You basically just, like, turn invisible and, like, you basically can't get in. You get a free item. Yeah. Um, that's if, like, anybody has an item. Um... Hmm. I, I would say, it, like, it's another random item generator, basically. It's not like it generates a random item, but an issue with it is, like, what if, like, no players on the field have a good item for you to steal? However, it does grant you invincibility and invisibility. So there is that to add on as well. Yeah. So, would this item be maybe a high C tier, low B tier? Um, That's the range where I would put this item. 
I, I would say like low beat hit because you don't collide with like other players. It doesn't like register as like a, a hit like when you bump to other players, right? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Well, okay, because if it did do that, first of all, that would be stupid, and I, I would put it C tier. But since it doesn't do that, uh, that would be B tier. Yeah, and now we have the coin. The coin. D tier. Coin is a disgusting item. I do like how in Mario Kart 8, like, let's say you have a green shell, right? And you're about to go to an item box. Yeah. You can debate on whether or not you want to throw that green shell because you know how, like, in previous Mario Kart games, you can, like, hold a green shell or a banana behind you and uh, it, yeah. it would remove that item from your item slot, allowing you to get another item? In old Mario Kart 8, that doesn't happen. Like, you have one item slot and it is taken by the green shell that you are holding. So you can either th so you can either keep it or throw it away and potentially get something bad like a coin. Yeah, it's like basically a gamble. Yeah, and now we're on the last item of Super Mario Kart, the lightning bolt. Oh, um, I would say like maybe as here, like you basically like you lose your item, you turn it into a midget. Um, <laughs> And you also kind of, like, lose all your speed from that. Yeah. I mean, it's a good item. It's a pretty solid item, yeah. Um, yeah. So, that's every Super Mario Kart item. Wait, hang on. Before we continue, slow S tier or high S tier? Mm. Um, but, um, I, I guess we'll put it at high S tier. I mean, like... In some situations, uh, getting struck by a light lightning bolt can be, like, really bad. And yeah. because of that, I think it, it deserves to at least be, like, high at here. But below the superstar or above it? Below the superstar. Yeah, definitely. Because, like, yeah, it doesn't grant the player the a speed boost. Like, if you're in 12th place and you get the uh, lightning bolt, you're going to be at least, at the very least, 8th, 7th, or even 6th place. At the very least. But if you're going to be at a tier of, um, if you get really lucky, you can immediately make it to first. Yeah. It is a situational item, depending on what place you're in, because the places behind you, I don't think they get hit with lightning, right? Um, what, the lightning bolt? Yeah. Um, like, you can be in, like, what, second place having, like, a lightning bolt. Everybody else is going to get struck, except for you. Ah, uh, okay. It's just, it's just that the, the first, like, the, like, the, for example, say, like, you're in 12, you get struck by a lightning bolt, you'll shrink back, like, more, faster, because, like, they see that you're in disadvantage, so they're gonna, like, oh, wait, let's, like, get you back up to, like, your full size fast enough, so you can be kind of, like, in a bit of an advantage. On, like, first place, like, you're gonna be stuck there for, like, a pretty long time, so, like, mm -hmm. other players can have, like, a bit of an advantage while you're still in disadvantage. Yeah, I get it. Well, I think it's time to move on since this video is already 11 minutes long. 13 minutes long. 13 minutes long, excuse me. Uh, now we're going to head to the triple mushroom. Um, I would, I would say like what S tier. Like below lightning bolt? Or maybe even high S tier. Or sorry, high A tier. Actually, yeah, probably high A tier. It's definitely much better than the mushroom in every way possible. Three boosts instead yeah. of one. However, yeah. you can spam them and make it so that way you don't have, like, one continuous boost and not have the maximum boost. But other than that, if you use it properly, you're pretty much fine. This is much easier to use in shortcuts and is really good. And now we have the golden dash mushroom. So basically, a, the golden, uh, that golden dash mushroom basically is like... Uh, a mushroom like, that completely... you can spam for a period of time. Oh, okay, that's... Nice. Um... Hmm. <laughs> well, we definitely know that that would be higher than the triple mushroom, so like... High to like, like very low S tier. High A tier to like very low S tier. Yeah. Maybe around there. I wouldn't say it's S tier. I would say it's A tier, though. Because, like, you can instantly lose it through that whole time. You can also use it once oh, yeah. and just not again. 
and the timer would still go out. But if you just completely mash the button, you can also maybe fall to your death accidentally on some of the harder tracks. Mainly the uh, courses like Rainbow Road, SNES, or Mario Kart 7 Rainbow Road. Those are definitely a bit harder tracks to use items like the Golden Dash Mushroom on. So it is a very situational item, but other than that, yeah, I definitely think a high A tier placement is good for it. And now we have the fake item box. Oh, trash. It's all, it's all crap. It does depend on what game you're playing, though. Because, like, in Mario Kart 64, that looks identical to the item box. But if you're playing, like, Mario Kart Double Dash, nope. Nope. Oh, MK, we, MK, we a hell of a... <laughs> it's red, right? <laughs> it's red. <laughs> and it's the last time... How do you think you're going to pull somebody with that? <laughs> I don't know. But maybe low C tier, high D tier? Um, I mean, out of all the games, you said that, like, the N64 one is, like, identical to, like, the actual ones. Yeah. But then the rest is just kind of, like, the rest are just kind of, like, ugh. ugh I would this? say low D tier, because, like, it's only, like, one game out of the whole franchise that kind of, like, includes the fake item box. Now, would you put it, like, really good. Would you put it above the, the rest is just, like, garbage. Would you put it above the coin, or would you put it above, or under the coin? I would put it below the coin. Really? Yes. Huh. Well, I'm not... Coin can kind of help you. Eh, it's not as bad as, like, getting the coin, but... Eh, I don't know. Anyways, I now... Mean, like... Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, well, I, I was gonna say, like, like, the coin can be, like, a bit helpful when it comes to, like, you know, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like, you know, you can have the possibility of, like, your item getting snatched. And, like, the coin can just be, like, like the sacrifice. Yeah. The fake item box isn't going to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> now we have the Banana Bunch. The only time the Banana Bunch has ever been in a Mario Kart game is Mario Kart 64. Basically, uh, uh, unlike Mario Kart 8, where it's uh, three mushrooms spinning, or three uh, bananas spinning around you, it's five bananas trailing behind you. So if somebody were to throw, oh, like, a green shit or a red shell at you, it bursts one of the bananas, guaranteed. <laughs> I would say since, like, most of the items are not going to hit you, you're basically mostly scot-free. The only items you have to be worried about is the thunderbolts from that game, the blue shell, and possibly getting sniped by, like, a banana or, like... What, like somebody doing calculus with like a green stone like sniping you from like the sides. <laughs> so where would you put the banana bunch? I would say like maybe like low A tier. Yeah, I would agree, but do we put it above the super mushroom or dash mushroom? Uh, I would say below. Okay, yeah, definitely. But yeah, I agree because, well, it's really kind of useless because you, like, if you want to get another item. If you want to use your item in reserve, you're going to have to throw all five of those bananas. And you're probably, if you're just, like, Mario Kart 64 is a bit wonky, so you might just throw them in front of you. Like, directly in front of you. <laughs> as you're racing. So, you might just slip on one of those bananas. But, if you're careful, you should be good. And I think that's fine. Anyways, now we have the triple green shell. Um... No, it's a pretty decent item. Like, you have, like, three shells to, like, defend you. Yeah. I would say B tier. Above the boo. Yeah. Yeah, definitely B tier. But do we put it above the boo? I'm fine with putting it either above or below the boo. I would say below the boo. Yeah. Because the boo at least grants invincibility and invisibility, while the green shells, you can still get hit. Granted, it is a s very small chance, but you can. Anyways, yeah. on the topic of triple shells, now we have the triple red shell. Oh, that is just like straight up S tier. <laughs> now, where do we put it in S tier? Because I'm perfectly fine right. with that. Do we put it above the star, below the star, or below the lightning? Or okay, below okay. star? We definitely we definitely know that it's not superior to the superstar. 
we definitely know that it's not even close to the Thunderbolt. So we're going to put it like below both of them. Yeah. Because at least with Lightning Bolt, you can shrink them. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Now we have the blue shell, or the spiny shell, as it's called. I would say, um, S tier. I would actually say A tier. Because you can definitely ruin a player's day, but if they know how to avoid it, then, like, it's just a useless item. Yeah, I was actually kind of thinking that way, like, the way... Actually, no. Probably like eight here. And also, there is other ways to counter the uh, the shell as well. You can obviously use invincibility yeah. items, boo, star, etc. And if you get hit with like a like a shell prior, then you can just avoid the the spiny shell due to invincibility in Mario Kart Eight Deluxe. Yeah. As well as that, there's the super horn. Oh uh, yeah, and you can also like outrun it. It is possible to outrun, maybe at the end of a track. They usually appear, I think, once per track. Oh, yeah, and there's also, I think, the PAL block of Mario Kart Wii that can avoid it, right? Mm, no. Oh, that can't? No, the PAL block doesn't um, destroy um, spiny shells. The only time, the only way it can is that if the player doesn't like use the spiny shell in time if they like on the ground and get spun out by the pow back pow, pow block mm, i see other than that other than that you're um that's the only way you can like destroy the uh spiny shell i would definitely put it below the golden dash mushroom in a tier yeah i think that's a pretty fair as a matter of fact i was playing mario kart wii and i got yeah. you know I got hit by a pal block, and then got fucked by a, a blue shell, and then got hit by a red shell. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that one the yeah, video I'm of just Daisy getting messed up by Mario Kart items? I think she gets hit with a yes. blue shell, and then a red shell, and then another blue shell, and then a red shell, and then a red shell, that gets knocked off the course, and then gets not hit by a bullet bill and knocked off the course again. <laughs> yeah, I, I seen that. And the fact that it was Luigi that knocked off Daisy, he really said those for four hopes. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, next we yeah. have the fireball, and I'm not counting the uh, individual barring Luigi fireball since they're pretty much the same, from what I remember. So yeah. Also, we're in the double dash I items now. So Mario and Luigi's special item, the fireball. Where do we put it? Huh. I'm not sure about this one. Uh, if I remember correctly, it shoots like an array of fireballs. Uh, you know, like, how many of them? I think five. They have a chance of getting hit by one of the fireballs if you were, like, throwing it. I think they move super slow, though. Yeah, if it starts moving like extreme, if, it, if it's like moving slow, then it'll probably be really hard to like hit somebody. But it's not bad. It's five different project, five or six different projectiles at once. So I would put it maybe at a high C tier above the Cape Feather. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, now we have the heart. Peach and Daisy special item. And from what I remember, I think it grants you uh, a free hit point. There's two of them. You get two free hits. Oh, yeah. Or you, when somebody hits you with two different... You can get hit with two different shells, it'd be fine. As well as that, you can steal items. So, like, if there's, like, a Bowser shell coming towards you, you can the hearts can just pick that up. However, I think the heart disappears once it picks it up. I would put this below the triple shells in B tier. Triple green shells in B tier. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I think it's a pretty fair placing for it. Now we have the Yoshi's egg. And the Birdo's egg, but the Birdo egg is a different item in Mario Kart Tour, so we'll get to that eventually. Um... The Yoshi egg. Uh, the Yoshi is kind of like a red shell that kind of like hits like. It's a red shell. Hang on, it's a red. I, if I remember correctly, it's a red shell that when it hits the target, bursts out a few items. 
Of, I think the concept is good, but like, like you know, you also have like, like, you're decks, also giving like other players like free items. Yeah, because like it could be like just bananas in a shell to uh, just shell or mushrooms. So you can give them an immediate boost after getting hit with them. So I'd put it maybe at the top of B tier or below booze. Um, below boo. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to have a wacky one. Now we have the Chain Chomp. Baby Mario and Baby Luigi special item. So, um, that's basically just in a way a version of a bullet bill. Pretty much. Alright, then, um... However, I think it wasn't doesn't that... Like the chain... Huh? Doesn't the chain chomp start, like, running away, like, once you're done using it? Yeah. And then I think... Yeah, I I don't remember much about the chain chomp. I haven't played Double Dash. i played, I think, every other mainline Mario Kart except Double Dash. <laughs> I need to get around to that at some point. Hmm. Is the chain chop like, like really big or like small? Big. Like ridiculously big. Like Bowser shell big. Oh well, then I I think that would be like A tier. I would say, uh, below banana bunch above boo. Uh, what tier would that be? Uh, Boo is the top of B tier. A uh, Banana Bunch is top of uh, the very bottom of A tier. Um, I think like with the Banana Bunch. Uh, the Banana Bunch were a row of five bananas that behind the player. I think either above or below the banana bunch is a good placing for it. Above or below the uh, the banana bunch? Yeah, because you can definitely dodge a chain chomp pretty easily, but if you're in the way of it, you're definitely going to get messed up a bit. And you could even fall off the map pretty easily. I think it has a pretty good launch, if from what I remember. Oh, wow. It's great. I'm lucky. Um, I, I think, like, about the banana bunch. Yeah. Okay, now we have the giant banana. I think this is Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong special item. Yes. They throw a really big grumpy banana peel. Yeah. I think this uh, I think the giant banana actually came in three or four different Mario Kart games. Not main uh only one main line being obviously double dash, and then afterwards tour and I think two of the arcades, but I'm not hundred percent sure on that. What would you rank it? Uh, well, see, here's the thing. It's just a big banana. You could still dodge it pretty easily. But, like, in, like, cor like small corridors, or, like, linear, small linear, uh, path, uh, like, tunnels, that's gonna be hard to avoid. So, in a way, it's, like, situational? Very, yeah. I'd place it in the tier with normal banana. Like, the top of C tier. Um, yeah, alright then. Two tier goes. Yeah, I definitely think that that's the perfect tier for it. Alright, now we have come to the elusive Bowser show. The special item for Bowser and Bowser Jr. Oh, that show. The show that's on steroids. <laughs> pretty much. So basically, this is a green show that pretty much can bounce through walls, and or bounce on walls, and, uh, can hit players more than once. I know green shells can bounce on walls, but like this one's just more dangerous if it's wall bouncing than a green shell. It's big. It, it doesn't have like a good launch distance if like you do get hit by it. Yeah, I think so. I think it has similar to chain chomp. Or it could be just on drugs, who knows? Well, um, what would you rank um, this, like, you know, turtle shell on drugs? Uh, I would rank it... See, here's the thing, right? It's good. But there's better. 
Because, like, it's not guaranteed to hit the target, right? But it can hit multiple players. So, like, similar to the giant banana, if you throw this in, like, a small linear path, you know, most players in that cave are done for. But also, it can hit you as well. Oh, come on. And I think you also drop five coins to get hit by it. Oh, hell no. That, that just lowered my ranking. <laughs> I think maybe B tier, B for Bowser Shell. Yeah, yeah, B tier. So where do we put it? Because like the Yoshi Shell is pretty much uh, Red Shell, the Triple Green Shell is the Heart, and the Boo. Um, I'm not, I'm not really sure. What do you think is best? All I know is that this video was 30 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what were the options again? Okay, so I'm thinking B tier, obviously. Uh, either above or below Boo, uh, above or below the Yoshi Egg, above or below the Triple Green Shells, and above or below Heart. I, I would say, like what? Above, like, the Hearts? Like, smack down in the middle? Yeah, I, I agree. I think that's a good place to put that. Okay, and now we have a, a Mario Kart item classic that originated in Double Dash. Wario and Waluigi special item, the Bob-omb. Oh, the bob -omb? Yep. So you're telling me their special item is, a is committing terrorism. <laughs> it's Wario and Waluigi, what do you expect? Um, yeah, you're right about that. Um, it's not- Bob-omb is not good, in the slightest. If you snipe somebody with oh, it- great. You can't even, like, commit genocide. You can't commit mass terrorism from that? <laughs> oh, well, that's automatic heat here. <laughs> um, so, I think the bob -omb is a bad item, but if, like, you snipe somebody with it, that is the best accomplishment you made of the day. Oh, that's what I did to Trevor when, like, um, in Sky Garden, I managed to snipe him with a bow bomb. Yeah. Uh, I really do like, uh, sniping people with bow bombs. It's very rare, but when you do it, it's a big accomplishment. It's like a big ego boost. But I think bow bomb is, like, below C tier. At the very worst in C tier. Yeah. C tier it goes. Yeah. Okay, now we have the blooper. This is D tier. The worst in D tier. It's useless. It blocks the screen, but you can still see the screen. Well, I don't even know what, like, Nintendo was thinking. You know what? Let, let's, you know, blind the player. But let's also not blind the player. Yeah. Uh, this item definitely goes in D tier. Yeah. No, blow the fake item box. Certainly below the fake item box, because that is a monstrous item. Okay, now we have Mario Kart Wii items. We got five Mario Kart Wii items. First, the bullet. What happened to Super Circuit? Uh, Super Circuit doesn't have any new items. It's basically Mario Kart 64. But with the uh, su with extra courses and the Super Mario Kart courses. Alright then. Um, so first we have the Bullet Bill. S tier. <laughs> um, S tier. Yes. So where do we put it? Um. So we agree that would be on S tier. How many, uh... So we have three items oh, in S tier. The Superstar, the Lightning Bolt, and the Triple Red Shell. Alright, well, we definitely know that you can use a Bullet Bill to not get hit by the Red Shell, so I think it deserves to be above Red Shell. And then, um... Hmm. I would frankly say maybe, like, above Red Shells. Yeah, I would put it above the Lightning Bolt as well. Because, like, with the Lightning Bolt, it is very situational on whether or not how good it can be. But, like, Bullet Bill, you use that at any time, and it's going to be good. 
There is no bad situation with the bowl, though. There have been many times where I've encountered bad situations with the bullet bill. Really? What kind? Um, while playing Wario Goldmine, uh -huh. I managed to uh, go to a corner where it was like too much of a sharp like drift for me to use, uh -huh. or like to drift, and I fell off because of it. Mm. <laughs> but most of the time, bullet bill is going to be good. Lightning bolt, half the time, is going to be good. Yeah, there are times where you're able to, like, shock dodge it. Yeah, so I would put uh, Bolt Bill above Lightning Bolt. Alright, then. Yeah. Now we have the Mega Mushroom. The superstar that doesn't give you a speed boost. Where do we put this dumb item? Okay, so you essentially become Godzilla. If you get hit by, like, an item, like, do you, like, shrink back? Um, I don't know. Oh, All I know about this okay. item is that you have, you have a much bigger hitbox, and you don't get a speed boost. What happens if you get hit by, like, a bullet bill while you're, like... Well, you know what? Mushroom. The Mega Mushroom might just be a superstar. I don't think you can get hit in a Mega Mushroom. No way. And oh, also, no, no, the no, Mega no. Mushroom timer is actually very small. It's much smaller than the star, if I remember correctly. I think it is possible to get, like, shrunken back to your normal size if you do get hit by, like, like, what, an item. Mm. And I think it is possible to, like, get hit by, like, some, like, you know, Specific um, items like a star or bullet bill, mm -hmm. and you can definitely shrink back to your normal size if, uh, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. If you're using a mega mushroom while like what a thunderbolt is activated. So I would put the mega mushroom maybe at like maybe low C tier. Yeah, it's basically just like a nerf version of a superstar. Like, do we put it above Bobum? Eh. I actually don't know about that one. Mm. I think below bob -omb. Below bob -omb, yeah. Because, like, with bob -omb, like, and no, never mind. Even my reasoning makes no sense. Because I was going to say you can put bob -omb behind your cart and use it as a defense item. No, you cannot. You're going to get blown up. You can release it, and yeah. then you won't get blown up. This video is almost 40 minutes long, really? Oh, nah. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, let, let's try and finish at least the items up to Mario Kart 8, and then we might make a separate video sw splitting All up right. to the arcade. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Alright, so next we have the Thundercloud. D tier, worst in D tier. <laughs> D tier, I don't give a damn if it gives me a speed boost. Thing. Who cares about the speed hot boost? Potato. You're just playing hot potato on the track. Exactly. It's a miserable item to have. No, get that monstrosity out of my sight. Alright, next we have the POW block. Um, I would say this item is... It's fairly good. Eh, I don't know much about it. I know the Wiimote, you have to shake it, right? What do you mean? But you have to shake the Wiimote to actually use this item, right? No, no you don't. Oh, no? Okay. You can just, like, like press, like, the item use and, like, you'll automatically, like, you know, just, like, get turned on. Mm. So what does the power block exactly do? Because I don't know how, how this yeah, item works. So the power block, I think it, like, um... Alright, so basically when the power block is activated, it'll shake for one time, it grows smaller, mm -hmm. as you'll see, you'll see the power block once it's activated. Second time it will like, you know, it'll shrink again, and then like, you all your characters start shaking, mm -hmm. because you know, the power block is just basically like, Nintendo's version of a goddamn earthquake. Third version, it'll make you spun out, it'll make you spun out, you lose your item. Um, depending... 
on the situation, you can either avoid it, and if I'm not wrong, there is a technique where you're able to, you know, still be able, you're still spun out, but you're able to min maintain all your speed. Mm. But I think, like, that's really a hard thing to do. So where would we put this? I'm thinking maybe a low B tier? High C tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I say, like, low B tier. Um, the, the method of, like, you know, maintaining your speed um, with, like, when, like, a power block is being used, I think it's, like, a bit difficult to do. Mm -hmm. So I think, like, low B tier. It's not bad, but, you know, there are ways to, like, avoid it. And it definitely does not go above the heart, so I think it just is fine the way it is, just being the worst in B2. Yeah. Okay, and the final Mario Kart Wii item, the Triple Banana. I don't know why it took us this long to get to Triple Bananas, but here we are. Well, it's essentially the Banana Bunch, except, you know, minus two. So, you know, and depending on your game, they sometimes don't go behind. Because in Mario Kart 8 and Deluxe, uh, they spin around you instead of uh, being behind you. Where did we place the banana bunch again? Uh, we placed it in A tier, the worst in A tier. Um, make it the second worst. In A, in A tier? Yeah. Okay. I think that's a fine placing. Um, and now we have yeah, we'll, we'll to, uh... Huh? Oh, uh, what? Okay, um, we have three more items in Mario Kart- We have three items in Mario Kart 7. And then we have four in Mario Kart 8, and that's all the mainline games. And that's where we're probably gonna end this video, because this video is 41 minutes long. Ah. <laughs> I am not watching this video. <laughs> okay, well, anyways. Now we have the fire flower. Um, it's the fire flower. That's pretty much it. Can you like use an item to like avoid getting hit, or does it like ignore it? I think it burns it. All right. Well, um, it's definitely a C. -tier. It's a C tier or D tier item. I, I would say it's um. It's C tier. It's basically kind of like a worse version of, of a green shell. Except you're able to like use um, a crap ton of them. You're still able to get hit, but you also make uh, you're also like able to like what make people lose their defensive items. Mm -hmm. Oh, would you put so, this? Kind of like... So we might have a dilemma here. We put the F Mario and Luigi's Fireball in the second best in C tier. Is that illegal? It's not illegal, no, but the fireball is definitely much better. The fire flower is definitely much better in every way. Yeah, you're not wrong. So, do we put it just above it, or do we put it above the uh, giant banana? Uh, we'll, we'll put it above the uh, the fire... Um, the fireball. The, the Mario Luigi, yeah, the fireball. Alright, now we have the worst item in C tier, or the best item in D tier? The Super Leaf. You get, really, um, you get a tail. We're in MK7, right? Oh, oh so you, your cart basically becomes a furry then. Basically. Uh, your cart gets a tanuki tail, and you can swipe away items that are behind you. So like okay. shells, bananas, you can even swipe up coins and other players. And I think you hover in the air a bit. It's the worst item in C tier or high, a best item in D tier. I, I would say D tier. It's best item in D tier. Yeah, D tier. All right, and now we have the lucky seven. What are the items that are in the lucky seven? A blooper, a star, a bomb, a green shell, a red shell, and a banana, and a mushroom. And a, and a mushroom. Okay. I think that's actually all the items. I would put this in A tier, but not super high in A tier. I would put yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, because like, see now, you have people... the chance of like colliding like to a bomb 
and all your items get like disintegrated. Yeah, as well as that other players can hit into you and you could lose any of your items. And now people might think, well, it has a superstar, so just put it in S tier above the superstar. An issue with that is you have to wait for it to cycle around to the superstar. Or you can just like spam like the uh, the, the item button and you just immediately get it. That's true, yeah, but it really depends on. Um, it's very situational. The items in it aren't that good, and there's only three items, maybe four, that are good. Yeah, you kind of have to be lucky with the situation. Yeah. No one will ever call it the lucky seven. So I would put this maybe just barely above change out. Yeah, fair placement. Okay, that's every Mario Kart 7 item. Now we have four more items, and this video will be over. The boomerang flower. The boomerang. Um, so basically that item, just basically you just throw it around. You have like the possibility of hitting somebody or an item. Mm -hmm. And it comes right back at you. Able to use it three times before it disappears. Yep. Well, I'm not sure. It's not the worst item. It's a solid item to have. Like, I'm not going to complain when I see the boomerang flower. When I see a coin, I'm going to complain. But when I see a boomerang flower, no, I'm not going to complain. I think a C tier is a good... I, I say the best in C tier, worst in B tier. I would say um the best in C tier. Yeah, I think that's a pretty solid placing for it. And it also it has three uses, which can be pretty good. If you're good at sniping people, so... There's that. Yeah. Then we have the Piranha Plant. First the fighter in Smash, oh. and then announced as an item? <laughs> that, that's a bit weird. I actually think I, it I was... Say, um, I think it was actually in base Mario Kart. Huh? I'd say it's like a pretty decent item. Yeah, when a player goes near you, or when like a banana or shell is about to come near you, or maybe there's a coin, the piranha plant would eat that. It's solid. But, I I would say it goes in... I, you know what, I think it's gonna be the... Do you say it's better than Boo? Or better than the Yoshi Egg? Because I feel like it'd be a solid B tier item. I don't think it has the capabilities of being an A tier item. It's solid, but... Compared to the other items in A tier, it's not as good. So, I'd definitely say either the best or the second best in B tier. Mm, I would probably say, you know, the best. The best in B tier? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Okay, and now we have a very situational item. The Super Horn. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure about this one. Mm. I rarely even, like, encounter the Super Horn. It'll be a godsend if, like, you're able to get that, like, first place, let alone at any place. Yeah. I mean, like, it's gonna, like, like, you know, deflecting, not, not deflecting, like, Immediately annihilating items like red shell, blue shell, mm -hmm. any kind of shell. But it's like a one-time use. And, like, it does linger for a bit, but other than that, like, if you don't use it, like, the right timing, yeah. you can kind of get, like, you know, tricked. Yeah. So, I definitely say this is a B-tier item. Because it, it's good. It stops blue shells. It can pretty much stop anything. But... No, not really. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, no, it's hard no, to no, get, no, like, and most of the time when there's a blue shield coming for you, you're most likely not having a super horn. Yeah. And so you probably have to go to a later uh, place to get it, and then carry it with you, if you really want it. it yeah. So now the way, like, a chance of getting, like, what, thunder, um, thunderbolt in. Yeah. So I'm gonna say that this item... Uh, I would put it below the boot. Alright then. Yeah, okay.
And now this video is going to have one last item. The Crazy 8. Now, hear me out for a second. Hear me out. I'm, I would play, place this below the Lucky 7. Alright. Yeah, because if you really think about it, right? Oh, not, not an S tier, no. If you really think about it, it's just the Lucky 7 with a coin. Now, people would say that it's better, but an issue is you have to wait an extra psych or uh, one extra item to get the item you want if you're actually carefully going through your items. And if you're mashing, well, it's a free coin as well. I like the concept of it, but like. Oh, yeah. We can kind of mash it for Yeah. So, I definitely think that this tiering is fine. So, in D tier, also I'm going to be saying, the first item I say... Actually, you know what? Never mind. The first item I'm going to say is the best. The last item is the worst. So, in D tier, we have the Super Leaf. The Coin. The Fake Item Box. The Blooper. And the Thunderclub. I would say that's, that's a pretty solid D tier. Yeah. I can't wait to get footage for all of these uh, items. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, in C tier, we have the boomerang flower, the giant banana, the fire flower, the fireball, the feather, the green shell, the banana, the bob -omb, and the mega mushroom. I think it's pretty solid. Yeah. Yeah. In B tier, we have the Piranha Plant, the Boo, the Super Horn, Yoshi's Egg, the Triple Green Shell, the Bowser Shell, the Heart, and the Pal Block. I say that's, I say that's fine. Yeah. Okay. In uh, in A tier, we have the Golden Dash Mushroom. The spiny shell, the triple dash mushroom, the red shell, the dash mushroom, the lucky seven, the crazy eight, the chain chomp, the triple banana, and the banana bunch. I think that's fair. Yeah. And finally, in S tier, we have the superstar, the bullet bill, the lightning bolt, and the triple red shell. I'm surprised out of all the items, there's like only four items managed to be S tier. Yeah. There's a lot of good contenders, though. We do have the Golden Dash Mushroom, who I'm not going to say should be an S tier, but I'm perfectly fine with the dominating A tier. And that's yeah. the video, pretty much. That's part one. And part two, we're going to try and rank. The Mario Kart Arcade and the Mario Kart Tour items. We're gonna miss uh, old school Mario Kart items because I don't think any of the Mario Kart Arcade items are balanced in the slightest. So, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they are, I think, unbalanced as shit, but I even think there's an item that can just pick you up and throw you off the track. I think that's how oh, unbalanced they are. I think it's the boss Galaga. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. So, we're going to have a lot of uh, items to uh, talk about. There's nine. I think there's 93 items in total in the first Mario Kart arcade game. So, <laughs> yep. Jesus Christ. Alright, well, that's the video.